depending on your insurance and our, my team does such a good job looking at whose insurance covers what. And we work with lots and lots of labs to try to get people the most information for the least amount of money. Um, and so it kind of depending on that, we look at different things, but we can look intracellularly. We can look in the extracellular space. We can look in hair. Um, we can look at, you know, if we're looking at T cells versus hair, we're looking at different amount lengths of time and averages over that time. Um, so it, it really, it depends how we look, we look at that based on a number of factors. Um, and, and again, based on your diet and exposures and, um, what do I think that you might be getting enough of or not too much of, um, and what, what diets have been helpful for you in the past? What have you tried? What have you not tried? So there's a few ways that I measure and get information about nutrients NAD plus is one that comes up a lot in mental health and stress in addiction disorders. So NAD plus is niacinamide adenine dinucleotide. And um, there's been a bit of research going on in Australia with that. And I've been using it in my clinic. There's people all over the U.S. are using it um, to prepare people for detox programs. Um, not detox the way we were talking about it, but more of a um, like inpatient detox from, from drugs and alcohol. Um, so NAD plus is done by IV. And what I've seen is basically whenever there's very, very high stress, so whether it's mental, emotional stress, maybe a surgery, a stroke or addiction, long-term addiction, people deplete their B vitamins. And one of the primary ones is this NAD. It's vitamin B3. It's a form of niacin. And so when we replete that, when we flood the body with it, all of a sudden stress resilience goes back up and people feel normal again. They start sleeping better. They have less anxiety, less depression, and uh, feel much more resilient to stress whenever that does come up because of course stress is a normal part of life. I did it recently and it, 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 it was a game changer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the uh, NAD IV therapy, a lot of people listening to this have probably seen uh, the product Elysium, uh, which mm -hmm. is nicotinamide riboside, which is a precursor to NAD you can take orally. Um, <clears throat> and even just taking just nicotinamide or niacin, which is why it, it's actually been used in kind of orthomolecular mental health for a long time. And there's a number of things that it does. Um, this isn't just mental health; it was associated with longevity and, but uh, anti-aging and skin, yeah, lots of things. This particular pathway of NAD plus NADH inside of cells actually is one of the main pathways for redox signaling. So mm -hmm. oxidation reduction signaling. And so it's kind of like an aging pathway. If you, uh, if you get the NAD plus to NADH ratios in better place, that's just healthier, younger cells. So being able to do it orally is nice. Being able to bypass that and go straight to in byproduct straight into the vein is a cool therapy. It's profound. So like the Walsh work, I mean, the, if I had to put them in order, it would be Walsh number one and NAD plus number two. The, the profound effects I've seen with patients have are, I'll get emotional if I talk about it too much, but it's just so amazing to see someone's life shift in a matter of three days and see them, um, see them have that resilience, build that resilience back and be able to take on the world again and, and share their gifts with the world. Um, to watch the full episode or to subscribe to the podcast, click the link in the description or visit us at neurohacker.com slash collective insights.